Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. You got your boy Pool of Five for 300. For so, sure. It's long overdue. We've been trying to set this shit up for, I don't even know how long. Still yeah, like Blaine 16, up. man. <laughs> Blame 16 for this one, y'all. Oh, bro. So, you know, first thing first, how old are you? I just turned 20. Yeah? Yeah, you, yeah. That's crazy. You still young, but, like, I feel like I've been hearing about your name for a long time. So, like, you must have been young as fuck when I'm about you. Man, for, man, on the rapping tip, man, probably about, like, since I was, like, 13. But I've been now her since I was, goddamn it, 11, 10. Yeah. So, you know, since this is our first time uh, linking up, I like to talk about, like, people upbringing so that people get to know the artists, like, how they came up, shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you tell the people, like, first of all, like, where you where you grew up at, where you from? Man, I'm from 64th of Parnell. That's a block off normal. Man, shit. Born and raised, goddammit. Yeah. So, how, how was it for you coming up at a block like that, like, as a shorty? Yeah, this shit was fun. She everything. She it was regular kid hood like everybody else. But then you know, all the other shit that I was around, she motherfucker just adapted to it. So was it like older people you was around? Like kinda got you sucked into it or kids your yeah, age? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never hang with nobody my age. I'm the youngest one yeah. out of my crowd. Even now? Still. So like when you when you first moved out, how was it? Like was you like the new kid in the area or something like that? I ain't nothing about born now. Oh yeah. Born now. Straight from St. Bernard to the block. So when you say you start rapping at like thirteen? I started rapping when I was like nine. Oh but yeah. Like known from like around like thirteen or something? Yeah, around right, like thirteen, yeah. When I got known. So how was it being like, you know, shorty, only thirteen years old? And you got a little more attention than most 13 year olds. Like, shit. It was really, it wasn't really nothing. I, I ain't think nothing of her, cause shit. I always been popular, as you would say. You know, I was always one of the faces of wherever I'm at. Yeah. So, you know, I wasn't really nothing too different. You said it's a block off normal, so y'all call that area like the lamb, right? Mm hmm. But the people that don't know what that is, you explain like what's Lam Rock? Man, that's normal spelled backwards. That's where your favorite rappers from, man. Oh so, yeah. So how did you get into the street so young though? Like what 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 you feel like gravitated you towards it? Shit. I don't even know, man. Shit, I was just just hard hit and shit just wanted to get into some. Like, did you know exactly, like, what you was getting into as you was doing it? No, not really, but shit, all the tragedies, all the tragedies started happening as soon as I jumped in this shit, so yeah. that shit just started coming. So how did that make you feel, like, when, once you started seeing that, like, did you start to regret making that decision? Or? No, because it really was fun to me. Yeah. I ain't gonna even lie to you, that shit was fun. Like, if you was to describe, like, how involved in, like, that lifestyle you was, like, how, how would you describe, like, how deep was you, how deep into it was you? Cause, you know, some people, they be, like, half-stepping, some people be... No, 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 I was all, I was all the way, I'm all the way in, all the way in, all the way in. Like, one no half stuff, and I jumped straight in this shit here at first. It's so, like, when you started rapping, was that, was you doing that, like, as a way out, or you just did it because you wanted to do it? Man, I started rapping, man, cause this motherfucker right here, my big brother, I seen how he we when we was younger and shit, we used to have block parties and shit, and he made his first song, and we used to perform it at the block parties and shit like that, and goddamn it, I seen how he had everybody going crazy on the block and shit, but he on stage dry as hell, <laughs> so you know me, I jump on stage with him, turn everybody up. I'm like, damn, I, I see the reaction we getting. I'm like, oh yeah, this is something I want to do. 
So, folks know that. Hey, since then, shit, that became my dream. Facts. So, like, how was it seeing other other rappers from Chicago, even rappers from your area, you know, starting to get successful with the music? Like, was that kind of motivation, too? Mm, I, I ain't really feel motivated by it until I start seeing four them getting on off that shit. Like, the niggas I grew up watching, yeah. until I, when I seen them making it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a chance of this shit. If I see them same niggas I just watched, that watched me grow since I was a younger type shit, yeah. once I seen them start blowing, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's some hope in this shit now. Yeah, I feel that because I think a lot of people don't realize something possible for real, for real. Like, you see other people do it, and you be like, oh, that's just celebrities. That's just famous people. I'm but like, when you see somebody you know, it's like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's like, different. We, we, we both from here. And he, so it's like, motiv- you know, it's motivation. Folsom is different. BD. So, is there anybody else you could say influenced you to do music? Like any uh, artists outside of Chicago? No, not really. I ain't even really got. Nope. No, no. Just really the rappers from my block and my brother. What about people you looked up to, like growing up? Was there anybody you looked up to? My uncle Weedy. He ain't here no more. He was a he was a trap nigga, so you know uh, yeah. he ain't here no more. That was that was my role model. So you know what what you what you been you know knee deep in the shit. Like, what's some of the, like the craziest things you could say you experienced or seen or even <laughs> dealt with? Like anything on the can of the streets. Shit, I just. Shit, niggas getting shot and some old shit. Like I'm seeing this shit. I, I'm seeing this shit. I'm around this shit. So, uh, but you know that shit ain't really. It ain't really affect the motherfucker until it start happening to my people. Yeah. So you know how was it like seeing something happen to your your people for the first time? Like, how what way did it affect you? How did, what did it change about you? That shit just. That shit unlocked. Uh, that shit unlocked the 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 the, the demon out of me. That shit just made me want to turn up even more. So like for the shorties that's watching this shit, like even though you 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 still younger, you you know you still done been through some shit, and you've been in this shit for for a long time. So for the shorties that's watching who really haven't made that decision to get in the streets, but they they thinking about it, like what would you tell them as far as like what come with this shit? Man, this shit ain't all what it's seen. This shit seem fun while you young watching this shit. But I ain't gonna lie. If I had knew what came behind all this shit, all this shit I'm going through now, I'd have been chosen another route when I was a young. All this pain, losing your people, all that other shit, I'd have probably start hooping or something, doing something like that. You know, sports were never my thing. So shit, they ass better see what we going through and goddamn it. Take that is like no, I ain't gonna take and don't go that route. Uh, speaking on like the stuff you 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 know you going through and went through with this shit, like can you describe like the day you got shot, like as far as like waking up that day, how did it feel? Did it feel like a regular day? Man, hell no, no, cause I got shot before I got paralyzed. I got shot on my foot like four months before that. Uh. And that shit, that shit is really, that shit just turned me up even more. But when I got, when they set me down with this, I ain't gonna lie, I was fucked up about it. Like, and I'm like, damn. It was like, it feel like motherfucking life gone, but I'm still alive. Like, I was just, I was, I was just on tour doing all this other shit. And now I'm stuck in this situation. God damn it, just losing my mind damn now. Yeah. So like. How do you cope with it on a day-to-day basis? Like now, like I know it's been some time, but I know it still got affect you in a way. Man, I just take this shit one day at a time. Now I keep my brothers around me, so and my, you know, I got a son now and shit. So you know that yeah. that play a big part in everything. So you know I can't keep sitting around pounding about it, crying about it, none of that shit, cause. I got my shorty looking up to me, you know, he look at me like Superman, whether I'm in my situation in this chair or not, you know, so I don't, I just got to keep it going. So when it actually, the situation did take place, like, was it a situation where you didn't know if you was going to make it or not? 
or was you conscious to what was going on? Man, I man, I checked out on the ambulance. Yeah. Yeah, they had to bring me back. They couldn't pull off till they got me back stable. Yeah. Shit, by the grace of God, he got that man brought, brought me back. So how how was that situation like? Like, where were you? Were you like just cooling somewhere? Man, I was down the street from my house, yeah. going to get some food for my mama. Finna be on my way back to the crib, man. Shit, the wrong place, wrong time. Motherfuckers see me. I ain't see them. I got my head down. And you know, they did what they did. So was it like somebody that you knew that uh, got you? Hell no. No, I ain't talking about like that you knew like as far as shooting. I'm talking about like that helped you type shit. Mm-mm. Uh, so how did, how did, you know, the ambulance see it called like a random person? A random person in the gas station. Oh, yeah. So with all this type of shit going on, do you did you ever like want to leave Illinois and shit like that? Man, not really. Not really. I ain't want to leave. I ain't, really, I ain't want to leave on. But now, man, I'm ready to get the fuck on. I ain't going to lie. It ain't nothing else here for me. Yeah. You feel like shit got worse or you feel like... Since I've been in my situation? Yeah. Shit, man, I don't know, I don't know. She, this thing like it be kinda like kind of sorta, yeah. kind of sorta, kind of sorta. Cause shit, I start even losing, I start losing more motherfuckers right after that. Yeah, it seems like it be like momentum swings, like it'd be a time yeah. get real bad. Different mood it. swings, yeah. mixed emotions. I don't even know how to feel about shit certain time. So I know you had said something earlier, like. I'm from the hood where your favorite rappers from. What uh, rappers you talking about, like Dirk and Reese? Dirk, Reese. Oh, uh, yeah. So was they some people you came up seeing type of shit? Yeah, you know, but Dirk won. Dirk came around the hood. He came around like 2010. So I was like 10 years old. But Reese and shit like that, I've been seeing him since I was a shorty shorty. So, like, how was y'all relationship, you and uh, Dirk and Reese, like, currently? Currently? Yeah. <laughs>